Radio. I want to talk to you about a very specific point in the sales process. That point is the point where you have worked with the individual within an organization who then has to take the information that you provide to them and turn around and give it back into their or own organization. That moment for business to business sales is one of the most important moments there is in the entire process. Couple of important things to know about that particular moment. Number one, if you are a professional salesperson, you are probably pretty decent at your job. When you go and present to a potential client, you are going to give them the type of information that they are going to need in order to make a good decision. You are going to provide them with examples, uh, with, with reasons, with formulas that are going to show that you, your product and what you are providing them is the best solution for them. However, there's a pretty good chance that the person that you are talking to is not a good salesperson. But what happens the majority of the time within business to business sales is you deal with one person and then that person has to turn around within the context of their own, own organization and they have to take what you have told them and they have to sell it internally. Now, a couple of very important points here. Number one, uh, the person that, that you are selling to who is turning around within that organization, their greatest responsibility is different than the salesperson responsibility. The majority of people in that particular role, their responsibility isn't even, or what they believe their, their greatest responsibility, is not even to get the task or make the purchase that, that they were uh, given the responsibility to gather the information for. In fact, there's a pretty good chance that they view their greatest responsibility to keeping their job. If the person that you are you're selling to is turning around and selling within their organization, they are not a salesperson, their, their job, their primary responsibility is to keep their job, the proposition of you selling to them is actually fairly difficult because there's a chance that, particularly if you have a expensive piece of equipment or a piece of software or whatever else it is, there is a connection between the decisions that they make in order to decide what to promote and the way that they are viewed in their job. You, in fact, can put their job in jeopardy if the solution that you're providing is not the solution that is best or it just doesn't turn out very well. That person is not going to do the best job as a salesperson or internal advocate for you. In order to bridge that gap, it is incredibly important and incumbent on you as a salesperson to equip that person that you are selling to in the best way possible. I call this the arm your champion process. So that person within the organization that you are providing the information to if you can turn them into an advocate, if you can have them display the information that you give them in a positive manner and just advocate enough for you to get you the entrance into the rest of the group, you can take that person out of the equation by simply changing the methodology of how you are sharing the information with them. The Arm Your Champion process is about putting tools in the hands of salespeople that they can then turn around and give to the advocate or champion and that champion can then display those people within their organization who need to be on board, the other stakeholders. If you give them a digital version of this arm your champion concept in which you are presenting in a way that they need to share with the other pe people in the organization you take away their lack of selling ability or their 
uh, relative difference between their selling ability and your selling ability. You're giving that message now instead of having to have an intermediary or a translator between your message and the other internal stakeholders, it is actually your message. If you can digitize your message and get it into their hands directly, you can change the conversation from this is what an individual within your organization is prescribing you do and now you are pitching directly. That also takes care of the second issue for that, that individual or, or your champion, which is they're no longer putting their name and credibility on the line for you. You are providing the information directly to the other stakeholders in an accessible manner. This arm your champion idea is so important that the fact that, that people uh, are still doing things in the same way and still, still hanging their heads against the wall, handing over the sales process completely to someone who you hope is an internal advocate, but in reality their most important item is to maintain and, and keep their jobs, that is a, a incredible mistake. Control the internal process, control the sales process by digitizing your message, connecting it to your advocate, and allowing your advocate to share for you within the organizations that you're dealing with. And that removes your advocate from the line of fire. The uh, responsibility goes where it should be, which is on you as a sales provider rather than on the internal advocate. I think that this is a really important message at a really important time because sales forces are continued to be stretched, continued to be shrunk. Companies are trying to do more with less and one of the ways to do more with less is making sure that the internal advocates have the tools that they need in order to turn into their organization and provide that message in a clear way. Arm your champion. Take them out of the line of fire and make a significant difference controlling your sales funnel.